right guys uh, making a video um, I don't know what's up with this thing why is it it's like it's not zooming in properly right so I'm making a video about Call of Duty the problem is I was having a few issues with uh, studying this so I don't know what was going on it's it was just giving me some errors let's see if it's working now it was saying to validate the files so let's hope it's working it said 98 files were, were not working I mean 98 files failed <laughs> I thought what how do 98 files fail that's because that's a lot right it normally says 30 files have failed like 36 files 32 files have failed it said 98 files failed I was like what that's like that's like the entire game failing the whole game failing. I was like, no. So it had to. I had to do a verify integrity of file files, and now finally I've got it working. So I'm happy now. Oh yeah, I changed the overclocking of my MSI after burner as well. Um, I've got 1950. No, no. The first one is 2100. Then 1950. Then 2014, I think. And then 1817 and then 1995 they all sound like they're all before 2000 the only one that's 2100 is the first one so i changed it i no longer use the 2130 i'm actually using 1995 i know it sounds like a year you know like 1996 1997 but it's actually the megahertz that i'm using on my overclock oh what the hell what's this stuff now i hope this didn't mess up my game What's this like? Is this? I don't get this. I hope it knows that I've. I hope it knows that I've got the battle pass. What's this thing like? No, I'm. I'm just skeptical, you know. I'm skeptical because I paid for the vault edition. I hope it didn't mess up my things, you know. I'm hoping it didn't mess up my stuff, because I've I've made so much progress on the battle pass. It's like, why is it telling me to to agree to all that stuff? Like, uh, I hope it didn't reset my file, my profile. I'll really be pissed, you know, <laughs> because I made so much progress on the battle pass. Right, frames are fluctuating anywhere from 120, 130, uh, 77, 80. Right, so I, I got a new cable. What's happening? yes why okay okay i get it the it still has a problem with the mouse i forgot i need to disconnect the mouse thing but it's, it has a problem with the mouse so come on what's happening why is going on oh wait i remember i get it now no no it's not the problem it's not the problem. I, I understand now. It's the profile is Counter Strike. I'm just I need to change it to Xbox. I remember now the profile. Ah, oh, come on, man. What the? Ah. Right. Um. I don't know why my touchpad's not working. Well, it works, but it's not working here. It's not allowing me to go back into the game i mean let me just use my mouse physical mouse what's happening what the hell uh, I, ca I can't do anything now that's weird what's happening it's frozen you see okay let me see It's just frozen. Okay. All right. <laughs> I think I didn't. I didn't get what was going on. Oh my god! I can't. What's happening? All right. Let me. Right. I had to exit the game because it just wasn't going to let me um, go in and play the game. See, I can't even do anything here. I don't understand what's going on with this thing, man. This is so frustrating. 
I just, you know, the thing is, I just want to see if it's working. Right, I don't know what's happening. Right, how do I get task manager? Can I get task manager? No. Nothing is opening. Yeah, this game is a big problem, man. So, I don't know what's happening. I, I think what I've got to do is I'm going to leave my laptop for a while. Because if I force it, that means I'll need to restart it. Wait, well, does control alt delete work on this? Maybe it's the one which is going to help me get out of this situation. Lock switch user, sign out. I need task manager. Right, so I need to shut down Steam. So I use control alt delete. I have to force shut down the game. Because it's, it's not letting me do anything. See? So let's see now if it, is everything back to normal. Yes. What's going on with this thing? I don't understand. It's not the problem with my laptop. It's the problem here. You see? Look. Right. I need to close everything. Yeah, I need to close everything. Um, let me see. How do I get that thing again? Control, Alt, Delete. Yes. I need Task Manager. I need to shut everything down. Because there's nothing I can do now. Uh, pity. Right, so... I don't know how to... Right, it's frozen my laptop. It's frozen everything. Right, let me see. Uh, switch user sign out. Right, so with this... I'm not switching users, I just want to restart my laptop. There's nothing I can do. The, the game just locked my thing. It just locked everything out. You see that? It's not the laptop's problem. It's the problem with Call of Duty. I had to verify integrity of files. I used Task Manager. I shut down everything that's running in the background. So I just decided the only way to get out of that because it froze, it froze my laptop. So I used the... Um, Control Alt Delete, and that's what helped me to get into Task Manager, and then helped me to select Switch User, which then gives you the lock screen, and then from the lock screen, I just restart the laptop, because I'm not going to switch user on this thing. I just wanted a way to restart the laptop, and that's the only option I was going to get. You know what I mean? So unfortunately, I needed to restart my laptop. I don't know what's going on with this um, this issue with um with i i don't know what's going on i think it, the problem is it's call of duty but you don't know you know I, I you never know what's going on so i'm just having to then restart everything msi uh whatever you call it msi center restart that uh, my resolution thing yes that is gonna restart i mean it's boring but i i need to make sure that this is actually um you know working the game because like i said i paid a lot of money for the game i didn't i didn't get it for free you know i had to pay 26 dollars for the battle pass i had to pay uh 80 dollars for the actual i think 90 dollars for the game so none of the stuff was given to me for free i have to pay money to buy to get all these things you know so I, it's important for me to find out if uh, there's an error or a problem with the game. And obviously I need to fix it. Right, I'm just starting everything up again. This is Game Fire. I told you guys what Game Fire is. Come on, man. Just, what's wrong with this thing? Right, so Game Fire is the same as um, this, um, what you call this, uh, gaming app. Omen Gaming Hub, they, they do the same thing. They they uh, freeze things from running in the background, uh, things like, um, you know, programs and all that stuff. And it uh, they do prior prioritize your um, gaming. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out what I'm doing here. I, I just don't understand how this thing always messes up my stuff. Right, uh, I need to... Open up MSI after burner. See, it's gone back to normal because it restarted the laptop. 
which is fine, I don't mind. Um, it's just that everything shuts, you know, when you restart a laptop, everything does close. So I'm just trying to get everything that I had before open. And um, yeah, and then this one goes in the middle. That goes over there, that's MSI center. That goes there. This one goes to the end. And that's game fire stuff. And Omen Gaming Hub. Um, what else is this one? Extreme game modes and game fast. If you have um, Acer Nitro laptop, you'll know what game fast is. It's just basically a software that stops other programs from running in the background and it does prioritize gaming. That's all that does. Uh, so if you're confused, GameFast is a program that is used. Um, it's it's like what Omen Gaming Hub does. It, it just freezes. You see all these apps in the background. Those are programs, yes? They're all frozen. They're put in idle. That's what um, what Gaming Hub is doing is what this software GameFast does. And this extreme game mode thing is the same thing. It's just prioritizing your gaming over programs and anything else running in the background. That's all it's doing, nothing else. So it's not confusing, it's not difficult to understand. Um, you are using a particular software to enable a function, right? So the function that I'm looking for, one is to overclock my laptop, two, um, changing the um, uh, changing the resolution uh, by using a software that's similar to MSI, um, sorry, similar to FSR on AMD because Windows doesn't give you that option. And where did I learn all these things from? Obviously, I learned all this while using my Steam Deck because when, when I was having my Steam Deck for the first time, I, I went from Steam operating system and I changed from Steam operating system. I changed it and I went to, oh my God, I have to restart that thing, man. Everything is just becoming chaotic now. Uh, my speaker's gone off because I had to restart the laptop. So obviously, you know, everything kind of disconnects from the laptop when you restart, right? So everything I'm doing on the laptop is just to ensure gaming, you know? I just need to restart my speaker. Am I not pressing it correctly? Come on. Power on. Yeah. Press me. Yes, I'm going to connect you. Just give me a second. Let me sit down. <laughs> Let me relax. And I will get everything in working order again. Right. Okay. So, we just check on the speaker thing, make sure, yeah, it's connected, good. Right, so the first level clock that I've got is 2092 by 900, yeah. Second level clock is 1950, I know it says 1942, but it's 1950 by 900. So, I just want to check the, the clocking, okay, 900. The third level clock I've got is... 2017 by 900. The fourth overclock I've got is 1815 by 850. And the fifth and last overclock is 19, should be 1995. I don't know why it says 1987, but it's 1995 by 900. So it seems like only the fourth overclock is using the 850. Right, so I'm gonna use this one instead, the, the 2092. I hope this doesn't give me a problem. And for my core clock, my core voltage, I'm going to use 31, plus 31. And uh, yeah, now I can go into the game and see if this game is actually going to let me play it without messing around like it did the last time. This overclock is not too big. It's not a huge uh, overclock that I'm using. It's 2092. It's not that big. Um, you know, it's not a huge overclock, basically. 
but I want to see if it's gonna let me uh, use it because the last one the 2130 it always had a problem with so I'm gonna see if it's gonna let me use this overclock you know right so it's at least it's starting the game because last time it wouldn't start the game and let's see how far we get with this one right let me just check this out right the game itself it, i think has a problem because as you can see now the game seems to be frozen right it's saying direct x error right so it doesn't it doesn't like the overclocking i'm doing fine so i'm gonna go here reset that by clicking that button and i'm gonna select the last one which is the 1950 uh no 1997 1995 sorry um, I don't know why it's, it just it doesn't like the, the clocking that I did there but it's 2000 it's even lower than 21 it doesn't matter let's try this one right uh, so that's it says 1987 I think it's because I've been using this for quite a while so it's it's um, you know it's gonna say whatever it wants to say let's try again this is the second time I'm trying I mean, from the whole day, the game's been failing uh, to start, you know. I mean, yesterday I didn't have any problems with the game. But today, suddenly, there's like a thousand issues with the game, you know. Okay, the first thing that I did was I updated the graphics driver. Uh, the game ready driver, I did update it just to driver booster from Steam. But then I then updated it again using um, updated it again using uh, the um, GeForce Experience, and then from that that one, I then um, I'm trying to remember the steps like what I did. But I remember I remember in particular that I I did upgrade it using GeForce Experience the graphics driver. And then suddenly the game required a, a big update of 32 gigabytes, like I said. And then when I tried to play the game, it said 98 files had failed. So I, I really don't understand. So the reason why I mentioned the driver is because I don't know what to blame. Do I blame the update or do I blame the, the driver itself? And then when it says DirectX, I did download the bad file. I've got the file for DirectX, you know, you understand? So I'm more or less like, I know what I'm doing with my laptop. And I know that I, I actually made it better. <sighs> I hope it doesn't give me errors this time, man. It's getting boring now. And it's a game I do play a lot, you know. I play this game a lot. It says custom. I'm going for ultra. <laughs> I'm going for ultra. Yes, ultra is what I'm doing. Right, it says right play dash house 24-7. I don't know what that is. And then bounty. And then uh, battle royale uh, trios. So that's three. Right play insur resurgence. Small map mosh pit. And then zombies. Also, hot point is gone. So this is Da Wu's. Right, I need to write this down because I'm not going to remember all of these names. Uh, I'm not going to remember this name, actually. So I need to write this down. So this is... Das... Das... House... House... 24-7. Uh, 24-7. Yeah, I'll just have to remember that for Call of Duty. Right, I'm going to select this one. Let's see. It only has one map. Okay, that's not too bad. There's only one map on this thing. Right, let's see. The operators I've selected are basic operators. If you're going to ask me why did I select these operators, because my um my laptop yesterday was uh throttling and lagging a lot 
and I didn't understand why it was uh, throttling a lot, so I decided to just go with um, take this to the glad you're on my side. Also, the dune is the dune uh, suits. It looks good though. Also, this is from the movie Dune. Skin. It looks wild, right? Oh, look at this guy, he's bunny. Ha, almost as good as me. He's on fire. <laughs> oh, God. 